good morning today we are going to discuss a very very important concept and that is of integration in curriculum and i will be talking with reference to the curriculum of medical sciences but it holds true even for other curricula there are certain articles which acts as standard when we discuss about curriculum and the first article in fact is of 1991 is written by mr r fogarty 10 ways to integrate curriculum perhaps that was the first document that was so good that you could understand what integration is and how to stratify it how to develop this hierarchy and so on and so forth but interestingly more than fogarty the article which spread widely in the world that is of harden in 2000 the integration ladder the tool of curriculum planning and evaluation it was published in medical education if you read this article it looks like that is on the basis of the article of the fogarty the terms have been changed but the essence of fogarty has been maintained in that it would be very good read to read this article in 2014 by mr atawa and gorda in which he has discussed the theoretical review of the framework of integration he has discussed in this what integration is he has even given a historical note on it and then he has also elaborated on both of these these two articles being the primary source of this article and these articles become the primary source course for the standard setters in curriculum like world federation of medical education and other world strategic bodies for example as in pakistan pakistan medical council and so on and so forth so what is integration in simple word when we are talking about integration we are talking about the integration of the content which is taught in different subjects content in a course is same but it is divided among the subjects as in medical education as uh, as in medical education so integration is simply you are linking the content together in a meaningful way so that the human brain can understand it better one can define it as such there is fusion of knowledge from different subjects this interconnectedness and interrelationship among the subject is usually linked around organ system of human body you are talking in terms of themes that means clinical representation because when we talk of diseases they do not affect one subject the human beings have a problem and the problem is not related to one subject because it affects a system of the body and as it affects the system of the body obviously the organs of the body so therefore it is much better to study medical sciences from that perspective equally when a person gets ill he doesn't presents with a symptom of a sign of a subject it presents with a symptom of sign which is a clinical presentation so it is always better to study medical sciences as a whole as compared to totally subject let me repeat it there is fusion of knowledge from different subjects this interconnectedness and interrelationship among the subject is usually linked around the organ system of human body or themes of clinical presentation 
if you read the article of Atawa, which is based on the primary articles of Fogarty and Hardell, and the review, it has made certain conclusions and it is so difficult not to agree with his conclusions. He says, integrating a curriculum is a complex process. Those who have tried to integrate in a medical college, as medical education is our faculty, they can understand how complex it is. It is not simple. There are many variables which are interconnected with each other. That makes it complex. Differently understood by students and faculty, those involved in developing curriculum. We all know that curricula should be integrated. The problem is, even when the faculty which sits down to develop a curriculum upgrade it, or the standard setters when they sit down, it is so complex that they are differently understood in the minds. That creates another problem. Not only this, when the time comes to experience it by the faculty and the students, when this curriculum is implemented, then it is differently experienced by students and faculty. The experience is not same. Broadly you can say same, but it tends to vary. That is why also it's a complex process, isn't it? Refer to integration related to instructional methods, content, faculty work, or synthesis of knowledge in the minds of learners. One of the reasons is when we try to define integration, different definitions or different concepts may evolve if you are referring integration which are related to the instruction method being used or in terms of relation to content in terms of understanding of the faculty and in terms of how you are synthesizing the knowledge it can occur at different rates you cannot predict that if you want to bring integration in a college, with what rate you can integrate? There are so many variables present, they had to play to decide the time according to which an integrated curriculum could be implemented. Some subjects are integrated more easily than others. There are, if you think of it, there are more than 11 subjects in medical sciences. Basic, preclinical, clinical, as you divide them into. One can understand few subjects can be easily integrated. As this way cannot. For example, in certain curricula of the world, there is one subject which is called as law and forensic medicine or something like that. It's difficult to integrate that, isn't it? Similarly, certain there are certain other subjects also which are difficult to integrate, whereas surgery, medicine, they are very, very easy to integrate. Whereas to integrate anatomy, physiology, in the first few years or in the first few weeks or months in a medical curricula is again difficult. An integrated curriculum holds much promise for raising students who will be able to apply their medical school acquired knowledge to their work and to the personal development. That, in fact, is a take-home message of the conclusion. There is no doubt about that. One may think anyway, but there is no doubt about this. In order to understand integration, it will be a very good thing just to think what is the natural history by which an integration evolves or progresses itself?
initially if you see there are subjects in the colleges let us say and there are teachers which are teaching you see they may be totally unaware of what teachers of other subjects are teaching and they are then teaching possibly they won't be able to integrate or fuse of knowledge of one subject into what they are teaching which is their subject after that teachers of different subjects are made aware they are made aware by the institution or by informally what teachers of other subjects are teaching then after that there is there is an even important level at which in fact the faculty members of different subjects they meet with each other maybe in a formal informal setting and when they meet with each other their meeting is being looked upon by a central person whose responsibility is to coordinate the curriculum as a whole So from unaware, the faculty is being made aware, and now the faculty is consulting each other. So the integration level is going to change when they are going to teach. When they have started consulting each other, then a very important tool to put your thought into it is the timetable. So therefore. they may be not sitting and consulting in addition doing one more work that is that is okay i am going to take a let's take a break over here because this is in few series so in the next one next part i am going to start from this slide again thank you very much have a time and then see part 2 of integration in the curriculum thank you very much